Hello, my name is Joshua Evans, and this is a very quick tutorial on how to control your computer mouse using GP Overlay using Parsec. So, in this update, um, I have allowed it so that you can control the mouse, and this is how you do it. So, there's going to be two parts. First off, we're going to configure your smart device, your phone, your tablet, whatever. And then we're going to configure the application on your computer. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, you're going to want to click on More and turn this into a Joy button. And this will serve as our joystick to control the mouse. And it's good practice to keep your buttons as close up to the top as possible to limit the touch, the off touch limits area of this overlay, um, the red area behind your actual game pad. So we're going to click and hold. And this button is basically going to overload the whatever keys you put in here and with your mouse movement. So if I put up, down, up, uh, right, or up, left, down, right, what this will do is once we configure the computer, it will say when I click the up button, click the up button, but also move the mouse up. So that's that. And then we're going to do the same thing with, well, basically the same thing with the mouse click. So we're going to overload it with the key E. So when I click E, it will also click the mouse. So then we save, and then we go ahead and create. And then basic GP overlay stuff, we're going to Parsec. There we go, and then we go ahead and click Connect. And then just like that, we're connected to my computer. Now, we're going to have to install an application on this PC to get the overloading methods to work. So there's two ways you can do this. First way is by going to this site right here and clicking on the setup.exe and then you can save and run this file. Or if you want a bit more transparency, uh, transparency, you can go to my GitHub and see the source files of this and install it from here. Still set up that exe. You're going to have to um, download it here. Anyway, so you're going to go ahead and click. Uh, this one's a bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and click here. Click on set up that exe. Save. I've already done this, but I'll do it again. Um, and then we're going to run it. And it's going to say um, it's unrecognized. Click more info and then run anyway and and then you want to install and then you run anyway and this is what you should get this little thing right here and if you're still a little wary the source codes here and you can look through it and um, so what we're gonna do now is using those keys we have set up and the GP overlay, we're going to overload the keys here. So we want our up mouse to be up, so we go ahead and click that key. And then we want right to be right, so we click on that key. We want down to be down, so we click on that key. And we want left to be left, we click on that key. And as you can see, these are the corresponding computer codes. And then for click, we're going to click E. And that's nice. Um, and then we're going to click on enable and then speed we're going to put it at about 32 which will which controls the speed of your um of your mouse and then we're going to go over here and then we're going to click on Minecraft classic and create our overlay uh, let me do this and um, yeah, and now what should happen is that when we do left, right, up, down, our mouse should move. So I'm using the normal mouse now, and now I am using the joystick mouse. And I can press E. Let me look at a tree really quick. Just like that, I can break it. So I'm using mouse and mouse um, functions by overloading these methods within GP Overlay and the GP Overlay computer or desktop um, supporting application. And if you don't think I'm still using it, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here, uh, here, and then we're going to move
move this over to the side and as you can see it's moving the only problem is that you can't see the mouse parsec makes it so that the mouse is invisible but as you can see I'm moving the mouse and it's following the direction that I scroll it in so that is the tutorial thank you for watching and I hope this helps you in whatever way